Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Reynolds here. The idea and our understanding of barometric pressure has been around for centuries. It was all the buzz back in the mid-1600s. I mean, of course, we all know what Torricelli had to say about it, but even before him, Gasparo Berti, Rene Descartes, even Galileo were talking about it. In fact, the concept dates all the way back to Aristotle. Of course, you probably knew this already, and you know that by measuring and understanding barometric pressure, we can more accurately forecast the weather. But with the advances in sensitivity and technology, we can do so much more with them now. They can be used to supply supporting data to correct output for other instruments like oxygen sensors. It can be used in drones or pretty much any aerial vehicle to determine altitude. Uh, elevators. They can be used on an elevator car to determine what floor it's on. They can be used in warehouse automation to help determine the height of shelves for automated restocking. As a matter of fact, they're so sensitive now that they can be used in wearables as an alternative to accelerometers for step counting. They can determine steps by measuring the air turbulence around the body as we move. I mean, if this is as crazy to you as it is to me, you're really going to want to take a closer look at the SparkFun Absolute Digital Barometer. We got them in two form factors now, our original one inch by one inch quick board and the new tiny, tiny, tiny micro. Let's take a look and see what they have to offer. These new boards utilize the LPS28DFW sensor from ST Microelectronics. The LPS28DFW is an absolute barometer with a water resistant package making it perfect for pressure measurement applications where the sensor is exposed to or even submerged in water. The sensor has two full scale measurement ranges of 260 to 1260 HPA and 260 to 4060 HPA with an absolute pressure accuracy of 0.5 HPA. It can be run off a supply voltage from 1.7 to 3.6 volts with a current consumption as low as 1.7 microamps in single shot mode and as low as 2.5 microamps in continuous mode. Interrupt features include data ready, first in first out flags and pressure threshold and the sensor is capable of data output rates from 1 to 200 hertz. The standard size 1x1 board has two horizontal quick connectors as well as broken out pins while the micro version has a single horizontal quick connector. Now, as I mentioned, this sensor is water resistant, which means it can be used where it may come in contact with moisture. But beyond that, it can actually be submersed into a liquid. Now, one thing to keep an eye on if you're gonna do that is that while the sensor itself can be submersed, the rest of the components on the board, not so much. They're not coated with anything. So if you are gonna do that, you will need to encase it in some silicone or something like that. If it's gonna be in a beverage, you can use food safe silicone. I use something called Sorta Clear, which is great. Just be aware that you will need to connect your quick connector or your wires first and do not encase the sensor itself. Cool, right? So to take a look at this, a closer look, I've invited back our old pal Drew from engineering to see what he's done with it. Hey everyone, Drew here again. Uh, I wanted to show off the features of the LPS28 DFW and I thought a great way of doing that would be attaching it to my smartwatch from the previous video. Now this is a blackboard, it's one of the prototypes that we did earlier, but the reason I'm using this one is because I actually conformal coded it to make the circuit board all waterproof in addition to the water resistance of the sensor itself. And because it's water resistant, I can submerge it into water, and so I can measure the depth of my beverage throughout the day that I drink. And so I can go ahead and dunk this in here, and on my smartwatch, you can see I'm currently measuring about four and a half, if I get this all the way down, probably about five inches of water. And to confirm that, we can compare it with a tape measure, and you can see we're right at about five inches there. So we know it's accurate. Then, as I'm going throughout the day, I can track my water level and know when I need to fill it back up. Ah, refreshing beverage. And now we're down to about one inch of water, so I know I need to fill up pretty, pretty soon here in order to keep my hydration up throughout the day. As always, Drew, brilliant. Thank you so much for coming in with that demo. You're very welcome. So if you all are as jazzed about this technology as I am, head over to sparkfun.com and pick up your SparkFun Absolute Digital Barometer in either our standard one by one footprint or our new tiny, tiny micro footprint. And until next time, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Cheers, my friend. Cheers, you have more to get through there. I sure do. we can more accurately, what's the word, forecast the weather. Okay, we'll cut there. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, Spark fans, Rob Rouse, once again. I mean, you're seeing this for the first time, but I've said it like 13 times now, so. Uh.
and then Rob. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Rob. <laughs> they can tell what, uh, how high a shelf is. I skipped one and then I got all screwed up in that. Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here, still. <laughs> Can't make me laugh. And scene. <laughs>